so this is my last video for the evening. So I made the corrections here, grammatical corrections. So hopefully. Now, Tom just renovated an old car and he's selling the car price at D dollars with a markup of 35%, write an expression that represents the price of the car. So we can write it like this. Oops, definitely not like that. Um, so, no. Okay, let's try again. There we go. So, zero, 100%. That's zero dollars. And here's the current price of the car D dollars, right? Letter D, not whatever that is. So D dollars. And if we mark up, it means it's going to increase from this to 135%. Right, so if we, so it's going to be d times one hundred one thirty-five, and that would give you the total for uh, the expression that the, that represents the price of the car after the markup. So d times one point thirty-seven. So that's the expression I'm looking for. Okay. Number two, Amazon's blah 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 blah. It's marking down the price of all these computers. So again, if the computers. Oh my God! Don't make it so here is zero, and here's the current price of all the computers at 100% of its value. And here's zero dollars. If you take 29%, let's take 10% out, 20% out, and 29%, it's going the price is going to be deducted, and it's going to come up to 71%. Right, of the value, so you're still responsible for this price. So this was the, the original price of the computers. Now it's a little bit less, so to calculate that, you would multiply D times 0 0.71, and that's the expression I'm looking for. Okay. Numero tres. Well, I feel like I did this before. So a dozen eggs at Eggy Farm um, is, let's see, so it's a proportional table. So it's $9 for six dozen eggs, which means that the unit rate will divide it by six, divided by six, and the unit rate is going to be, I have no idea, nine divided by, uh, nine divided by, Nine divided by six is that every dozen of egg, one dozen of eggs is going to be dollar fifty. So, Yolk Farms wants to sell it obviously for a little bit cheaper at fifteen percent less. So, this is the current price. If we take fifteen percent of that, with, which is zero point one five. So, if you take multiply one dollar fifty and you take fifteen percent, what's fifteen percent uh, times? 0 0.15 and that's going to mean that we're going to take 0 0.225 or 0 0.23 cents so we got to deduct 23 cents so a dollar 50 minus 23 cents it means that yolk farms is going to sell their dozen of eggs for 150 minus 0.23 and that's going to be a dollar 27 so at yolk farms they're going to sell their dozen of eggs for a dollar 27 so we multiply dollar twenty-seven times five dozen. It's going to be six dollars and thirty-five. So you would end up paying six dollars and thirty-five cents at that point. Um, Sam bought ten pair of jeans for one hundred twenty-eight dollars last year. So last year, so we want to do the percent of change. So last year, one hundred twenty-eight dollars. For 10 pair of jeans means that one pair of jeans cost $12.08. That's really cheap. And this year, wow, I can't write on this. This year, um, it he paid $90 and he got six pair of jeans, which means that each pair of jeans, one pair of jeans, was $15. So definitely there was a little increase there, right? So this was the original, right? So what happened first, and this was your final price. And so the percent 
of change is phi null minus original over original, so it's going to be 15 minus 12.8 over 12.8. So let's figure that out. 15 minus 12.8 equals 2.2, .2, and we're going to divide that by 12.8. That's going to give, but there was a change in price, decimal rise, 0 0.1718. Seven. That's what I got in my calculator. So if we move the decimal one, two, multiply by hundred, it's seventeen point. I'm gonna cut it off right here. That's gonna be seventeen point nineteen percent increase in price. My God, I really wrote it messy this time. But that would have been your answer. Number five, same type of question with the shoes. I feel like I did this. Okay, so Harry, Harry bought nine pair of shoes last year. So let's find out what the unit price of last year. 321.75 divided by nine pair of shoes. Pair. So each one, one pair of shoes last year cost... 321.75 divided by 9 equals, he paid $35.75 for the shoes. And this year, bought three of those pairs for 255 so 255 divided by three pairs means that each pair, he paid uh, 255 divided by 3, 80, wow, it, price went up. So definitely a an increase here, right? This is the original price, which because it happened first, and this is the final price. So again, final minus original over original. So we're gonna get 85 minus 35.75. Divide that by the original price, which was 35.75. And if we put this in the calculator, it's 85 minus 35. 5.75 which equals 49.25 divide that by 35.75 equals on the calculator you get 1.3776 I'm just gonna write these numbers down I'm gonna multiply this by 100 move the decimal two places over so it's gonna give us $137 and 76 not $137 137.76 percent so the definitely an increase in price of that much. It went up by 137.76%. Per went up a lot. Six, here's a table. But this is almost like the egg problem. Okay. So you can tell that the table is proportional because it's times 12 times 12 times 12. So pick one, any of them. So find the unit rate. So this is how John drove, right? So John drove, whatever he's driving, it's really slow, but he drove at 48 miles in four hours, which means that every hour he drove 12 miles for one hour. Now Sam is a new driver, and he wants to drive a little bit slower than that. How much slower? 25% slower, but we gotta figure out what 25%, let's take 25% off of 12, so 12 times 0 0.25, so it's going to be, you can do it times 0 0.75 and get the answer right away. 12 times 0.25 equals 3, and 12 minus 3 equals 9. So Sam is going to drive at 9 miles per hour. And if he wants to drive 200 miles, how long will it take? Well. 200 miles times 9 miles per hour equals, what do I write, equals twice. It's going to take him, one hour it's 9 miles, two hours would be 18 miles, etc, etc. So if we multiply this, 200 times 9, it's going to take him, it's going to take him a long time, 1,800 miles? Really? What? <clears throat> Hang on a second. Ding. Hang on a second. Uh, uh, hang on a second. Let me 
this into 200 miles. So actually it's division here. I might multiply it first. 200 divided by 9, it's going to take him 22.22 hours, right? So just be careful here. Instead of multiplying here, it's a division problem. And let me just show this again. So nine miles takes him one hour. If you were to drive 200 miles, how many hours would it take? And you can, well, there is no relationship here, but you can multiply, cross multiply. So you get nine X equals 200, divide both sides by nine, by nine and X equals 22.22 hours. Okay, so that would have been the right answer. Uh, eight. Price of a phone was marked up by 9% since last month. So write uh, what's the price. The price is represented by D dollars. Write an expression to represent the new price of the phone. So we want to do, so here is the price of the phone right now. Zero percent. 100%. Zero dollars, and the price of the phone is at D dollars, right? Uh, a, a price that I know I don't know right now, but if I add nine percent, it's going to be a hundred and nine percent. So this is going to be D. This spot right here is going to be D times one hundred and nine percent, or one point zero nine. So the expression we can use to find the new price of the phone is D times uh, one hundred one point zero nine. Nine percent of change again, and in there are 1,425 students at junior high school, 90, 194. 380 of those students are sixth graders, so what percent of the school is made up of sixth grader? Well, it would be 380 divided by 1,425, which is 26.666666, or 20. So 0 0.26666 forever and ever. If we multiply or change it, move the decimal twice over, it's going to be 1, 2, and it's going to be 26.67%. 26.67% of the population of the school is made up of six graders. What is 3 and 1 eighth as a decimal? So the first thing I would do is change this whole thing here. 3 and 1 eighth, and let's write it as a decimal. So 3 and 1 eighth, and if you divide 1 divided by 8, it's 0 0.125. So this is the same thing as 3.125. So we're going to change this to a decimal. So the first thing we do is remove the percent sign. So it becomes this. And to change it to a decimal, we're going to move it 1, 2 this way. And final answer is this. Okay, as a decimal. 11. The price of something Christmas lights were marked down. Okay, so again, let me draw it out 100%, 0%, 100 100%. So the price of Christmas lights right now is uh, D dollars, right? And if we take 31%, it's going to be 10. 20, 30, 31. You're still responsible for how much. So if you take out 31%, it means that you're going to be paying 69% of the value. So to find out this price, our mystery price, you would multiply D times 0 0.69, and that would give you the new price of the lights after a discount of 31%. And so this is the expression I am looking for. 12. Again, this is same thing as the egg thing so 
store A sells the screws at this price, bag of screws for this price, so it's times five, times five, times five, so it's proportional. So uh, the price is $10, you get two bags, which means that every bag, one bag is $5 at store A. Um, therefore, store B wants to obviously beat store A's price, so they're going to sell it for 25% less. What's so if I have five dollars and I multiply by 0 0.25? Um, let's see what a discount would be, right? Five times 0 0.25, it means that the discount we're going to take a dollar 25 away. Um, so five minus 1.25, it means that store B is going to sell their bag of screws for $3.75 per bag. And how many bags are we buying at store B? We're buying 20 bags. So 3.75 times 25 bags is $93.75. I don't know why you need that many screws, but hey, um, that's how much you would pay. And 13. Last week, Harry bought 15 apple pies for $37.05. This week, due to a shortage of apples, Harry bought four apple pies for $17. So, what's the percent of change for one apple pie? Well, let's see what the last week, let's find out how much each apple pie was. So, $37.50 got you 15 apple pies, which means that last week, one pie. If you divide top and bottom by 15, 37.5 divided by 15 equals that each pie was $2.50. This week, uh, the price was $17 and you got four pies, which means that this week, every pie that you bought or that Harry bought was 17 divided by four, which was $4.25. So definitely an increasing price on the apple pies. But this was my original price and then it went up to this price so that makes this my final price so percent of increase in this case of definitely an increase is uh we're gonna use this right so it's for final minus original over original just answer that in your calculator 4.25 minus 2.5 equals 1.75 Write it down, and then we're going to divide that by 2.5. And in the calculator, you're going to get 0 0.7. And if you change that to a percent, it's going to be 70%. So there was an increase in price of 70%. So this one, I should have done it earlier today. I honestly completely forgot about it, but I'm posting it now, and you can still check it. Okay, and that's it. That's it. That's it. There we go.